Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and today we have with us the real me but skew so in this video let's unbox this device we're going to share the pairing process and we're going to review this on the tech show you can refer to the timestamp in the video description so without further ado let's get started So guys, this comes in this nice yellow Spartan box with the Realme Buds Q printed on the top with the Realme logo on the side and you have nice features like 20 bar battery life, 10 mm drivers, a super low latency mode, ultra light body and the price here is quoted 2499 uh, but definitely always there are some offers and you can get this for cheap definitely under 2000. Uh, so let's quickly uh, unbox this. So actually let's bring our unnecessary black scissor and cut the box off. Actually I'm cutting from the wrong side because the right way is from the bottom. Uh, but I was so excited that I cut uh, from the top. So removing from the top you get another box inside it and let's remove this. And remove the box reveals the bud skew itself. So very nice packaging. It's not as good as the buds air. Uh, I think that packaging was much better. Uh, but this is good, the good quality, uh, better than Xiaomi products these days because Xiaomi packaging was good uh, last year but this time they have ruined it. So nice, it comes in this nice wrapped plastic just like Apple products and you have uh, this indent which we should remove it on the first place and we have removed it from the wrong place. So let's remove the box inside the box and you get some things inside it. So you get this ear tips which is very good. Uh, you get this micro USB charging cable. A nice white cable so as you can see so I think the black variant will get the black cable so that's good thing so now let's see what's inside you get the get started manual so this is in English that is good let's keep this for the side for the time being and let's focus on the product itself so nice wrap plastic and you can easily remove it and you can see the real me logo is printed now I don't know why they print light logos they should definitely uh, print board logos but very nice minimal pebble design let's open the lid uh, you get the buds itself and it also has nice plastic cover demonstration touched area so that's pretty much for the unboxing part we will keep all things right and we will begin with the setup process so guys this is the setup process part so i have already downloaded the realme link app and I have signed in with my Realme account. So definitely you can go ahead and play store and install and sign in with your Realme account using a mobile number. Now let's go ahead, let's see how this the pairing process works. This is the first time I'm doing this uh, because the Buzz Air used to have the Google Fast Bear. So let's see if Google Fast Bear is also supported in this device. So nice design, let's remove the buds. Let's put in my ear and it has our in-ear design. And it fits, it fits very nicely in your ears. So that's a good thing. And this, this, there doesn't seem to be any button or indicator, which is surprising. Let's go ahead and add, let's first turn on the Bluetooth and let's see if Google Fast Pair is there. Because if Google Fast Pair is there, then I should get a pop up. So it doesn't seem so. So let's go ahead and try adding the device. So let's see if there's a button that we can put in pairing mode because Bud's hair was having a button. When you press it, it goes to the pairing mode. So it should be here, but it's not there. Let's try ahead and let's click on nearby devices. Maybe if we can find that. So it's searching for devices. So this confirmed that it doesn't have Google Fast Pair, sadly. But it is also half the price. And it is not detecting. Let's go ahead, let's manually add this. Let's go to the earphone section. Uh, let's click the Realme Buds Q. And it says put the earbuds into the charging box and press and hold for a few seconds. Okay, so this is how you pair it. Which is a different pairing process than the Buds Air. So let's go, let's, let's click next first or we should hold first. Let's hold first. Let's hold first for the five seconds. 
So there is no indicator surprisingly. So let's click next and it should detect and voila it got detected. So the pairing was fast but was a little different than the buds here. And pair real me with buds queue. Okay, let's allow and pair. And voila, you got connected. As so you can see, uh, the left earbud and right earbud 100%. And surprisingly, all the features here that seems to be working with buds because buds air was having a software problem. But here you can control everything from single click to double click to touch and hold. So touch and hold function is also there which basically triggers game mode or you can turn that off as well which is good so let's uh, we'll use it for some time uh, let's let's listen to some youtube music and we'll come with my full review So guys, I'm using this Realme Buds Q for almost 17 days now and I'm really happy with this device. Now I got this from a Realme store for 1444. Now you will think that the price here is 1999. So how you got for 1444? So as you can see, uh, I bought it in Realme days and the price there was 1699 as well as I got a 20% discount coupon which subrex 20, uh, 254 rupees the effective price I got for 1444 now uh, this is probably the best budget TWS out there as terms of sound quality goes so we're going to discuss the pros and cons but we will start with the pros because there's a lot of negativity out there with this device so first of all right now uh, in the big billion days as well as the upcoming Diwali sale this is gonna price even lower for uh, 1499 let me show you if you go here uh, the buzz queue as you can see 1499 so I would suggest you that if you are buying this device definitely look out for offers don't buy at the full price I will recommend uh, ranging from 1400 to 1800 rupees so don't buy above that and always look for offer if you download the realme link app and if you sign with your account within one week you will receive a coupon I tried multiple times I got two coupons so 1499 plus if you get a coupon then well and good you will get it an amazing price point and Let's start with the pros first. So uh, first of all is the ease of use. So definitely you buy a buds or you buy any TWS for ease of use. So you can't compare it with the Sony's and JBL at this price, right? At 2000 rupees you could get a very good earphones, but you buy TWS for ease of use. For example, if you buy, bought the AirPods, which cost around 15,000, it won't sound as good as the 15,000 Sony or JBL earphones, but the ease of use is what you opt for. So first of all, this is the case okay you put this in your ears okay and when you get to your phone let's put this in your ears and as you can see realme buds q is connected so that fast is the connectivity so if you have one usb-c and if you don't have a microphone jack uh, this is a really really helpful device and i love that i bought the buds air first and then i bought this on sale uh, for my mom, but uh, after some time I started using this over Buds Air because I prefer this sound quality for the Buds Air So as you can see ease of use is number one thing. It's very useful. It's convenient. It's small uh, The next thing is awesome sound. So it has that 10 uh, mm drivers uh, Which surprisingly sounds really 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 good. So let's go to the sound section here So as you can see it features a 10 mm large dynamic bass boost drivers okay now they are telling it bass boost because it has that in-ear design first of all and it has very very good bass so as you can see in-ear design creates that passive uh, noise cancellation in your uh, ear it kind of block all the outside sound and give you that ample amount of bass I love the bass it's neither too high it's neither too low it's just perfect now talking about the treble 
The treble is, I would say, 80% uh, similar to the Buds Air. So not in comparison with Sony's or JBL, but it really sounds better. You're going to love it has the balanced sound with 80% good treble as the Buds Air, which is probably the double the cost. And you get the in-ear design with very, very excellent bass. Combine that sound quality is insane. And I prefer the sound quality over the Buds Air, which is actually double the cost. Now, Buds Air in terms of treble sounds better, but it has that open air design and that less bass meaning that that is not that great experience as you get on this like until i used this i was loving the budget but once i use this it's definitely no brainer to stick to this but skew the next thing is uh, a plus build quality so first of all uh, if you see the build quality of realme products they are really good like literally this is a plastic but it has that matte finish uh, in the buds there i complain that uh, it has a glossy design and scratchable design but this is very nice build quality like you can see this ma uh, this cover is also very nice it closes automatically you have the magnets here so it doesn't fall even the buds quality themselves is very nice you have that uh, realme logo and that glossy touch button on the top so overall e plus build quality and cleaning is also very simple right here uh, and it is portable and pocketable, so this goes into your pocket, which is an also a very good deal. Now, talking about touch control, so this is the only earphone in this price signal with the touch control because the Xiaomi or Redmi ones come with the manual buttons. And this is very nice, it's nice touch and control. You can uh, do play, plop, play, pause, you can skip the songs as well. Uh, and the best thing about this is that it is configurable in the Realme Link app. So this also makes this the only for uh, the only boy buds in this price segment uh, with the Realme Link app. So once you go to the Realme Link app, you can see it has nice and update right now, and you can see the my Realme Buds Q is connected. Okay, it's not connected because it is off. So let's connect this first, and you can use one ear at a time as well so uh that's a good deal as you can see right has been detected okay so now you can control like double tap to the right happens play pause then double tap to the sorry right has a play pause again so left ear buds control right ear but controls touch and hold functionality triggers game mode or you can off that as well now basically I turned the Google Assistant off because it is annoying, it triggers by mistakely if you are sleeping and using this earphone. So I disabled that and that's really convenient. You have also the game mode you can trigger from here as well, which is also a good deal. So this is the only buds in this price segment with a dedicated app because even the OnePlus Buds does not have the app unless we have a OnePlus device. Now let's talk about the amazing, amazing battery life. Now with the Buds Air, I complained that I used wired earphones just because it died within three hours. Now when it comes to Buds Q, the battery life is insane. Even if it is smaller, I thought the battery life would be even lesser than the Buds Air. But that's double the Buds uh, but there because it is small it is lightweight it doesn't have that on your detection uh, and it, it also doesn't have the Google fast pair so it means that it has that amazing battery life so the individual buds themselves last four hours okay so I use it for intensively continuous four hours and then still there was a 20% battery left which was just amazing deal okay you can you can see the battery status in the buds queue app as well as left and right so you can see that as well and four hours straight 20 percent battery life less and when you keep this inside a kit inside this case this case can charge this for four to five times so you use for four hours you put in the case for next 15 to 20 minutes and you can use it for more four hours that's an insane amount of battery life. And even if you're using this, if you're using a bar, you can put this in the case in charging and you always have a battery. So I haven't touched my wired iPhone in the 17 days because in Buds, Q, uh, Buds Air, I picked up wired iPhone because the battery died. Here the battery life is insanely good. So that's good as well. Now again, uh, I tested the microphone. So I did one 1.5 hours of Zoom call with my friend Arbaz and he rated the mic quality of 7 out of 10. 
so he was facing a little bit white noise other than the microphone was insanely good and uh, we were able to do 1.5 hours of meeting with ease and still there was a 70% of battery left in this device so for zoom calls on your computer for music for videos this is an insane value for money product you can get right now and then the good thing is it has ipx4 water resistant could you believe this it has that ipx water resistant but air didn't have this and as you can see if you if you go here so as you can see you can see the water droplets here because this is actually water resistant it's not waterproof but it can bear sweet and uh, sweat and a little rain falls so 5.0 bluetooth connection is there low latency mode which is also a good feature is there uh, as you can see ipx water resistance no worries so again uh, and it is tested by multiple times okay uh, and this it has this uh, josie leave cobble design uh, which is very good it, it looks it doesn't look like an apple airpods right it looks different thank you to this guy who have designed this very nice minimal uh, easy pocketable lightweight design now this brings us to the cons as well there are very few cons but of course no product is perfect the first con is that this is a real product meaning it has that quality control issues and you can't return if the product is damaged so if you bought a device for example and if it's not working or right ear is not working left ear is not working you're facing a serious lack you have to visit to the real me service center so before you buy make sure you have a service center nearby that will help you to get the replacement of this device if it is damaged under the warranty so that's even what i talked with the buds air video as well now uh, now there was a weird lag uh, so this is i use it intensively so i came to know that there is a 1 to 2 second lag while doing play pause in the video so normally for music for phone calls for zoom calls i didn't face any issue but i'm watching a youtube video okay uh, for example i watched it for 20 minutes then i paused the video and when the next time i play it after say 5 minutes of gap uh, the one second there is a uh, blackout or delay in the left in the right and the one second in the left so that doubles as 2 second of audio delay now why this is caused so i think because of the 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 r1q chipset here which is a kind of a a down version of the R1 chipset in the Buds Air. So when you pause it, it kind of glow in the go in the sleep mode or something like that. It's a glitch, and when it comes back, it was not able to decode the audio and th had hence that uh, no synchronization of the audio. And it took, in, in order to cover the synchronization, it kind of blacks out in one to two seconds. But it cope copes copes it up, and then the audio is in sync. So no issues. But two second. Uh, you can miss a word in that two seconds, so that's a bummer. I would say it's not a deal breaker, but it's annoying. And uh, this, but this is very rare. It happens like three times, three to four times out of ten times. Okay, uh, but this mainly happens in play pause. I think it was only once when I faced this while the video was running. But mainly it happens when you play or pause the video, probably when it goes to sleep or something that is problem with the R1 Q chip, because the chip here is not powerful. I actually bought this for my mom, uh, but she was using with the Fire TV stick. And 15 minutes it was running fine, fine. But after 15 minutes, it started lagging heavily. So I researched onto that, and I found that even the buds air lag with the Fire TV stick, but lag there is very minimal as compared to this. So R1Q chipset uses AAC, uh, and the chipset is not powerful to handle high-res audio. Okay, so if you're using, if you're planning to buy this for game consoles or Fire TV stick, uh, don't go with this one. You have to find the one with aptX support because the Buds Air, which is a 4,000 Buds, 4,000 rupees Buds, themselves don't have that uh, aptX support. Okay, meaning it also lags, but it lags for one second, while this lags for two seconds. It is basically unusable in Fire TV stick, and that's the reason my mom didn't like this. I use it because I love the sound quality and my mom is using the Buds Air. So I would say to stay away from this if you are planning to buy with the consoles uh, or Fire TV stick, you need to spend more to get the aptX support which will cost you around 5 to 6 thousand rupees. Because under this range it's very difficult to get aptX uh, 
support it's the only uh, the one that's bullets wireless as the only device in this range 2000 range that you can get the aptex support so you can keep that in mind as well other than that when it comes to music videos on phone on computer i tried it with my laptop on linux it just works fine i was able to say watch one hour of videos and music it didn't cause issue i was able to do the zoom calls all things work flawlessly uh now uh, so that's that's the uh, only con out there so one con is a delay the other con is this is a real me device so no replacement uh and uh, definitely that's the only con here because everything is good so the so final verdict this is highly recommended for ease of use sound battery and app features that's the only uh, buds in this range with the dedicated app with such amazing amazing sound uh, and very good build quality it's durable I, it can sustain but still uh, i will leave in comments down below how does it fare say after say, three months or six months or a year so that is definitely look out for comments as well if you're planning to buy it in the next sale uh, now definitely this is probably the best budget TWS under 2000 rupees but definitely buy between 1400 to 1800 rupees don't buy at the full price so that's pretty much for this video thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now